name is Tina from Freezer Cook Big. We have a website at freezercookbig.com and we provide you with spreadsheet tools for planning for your big freezer cooking day. We also have a great ebook with our story, lots of instructions, and practical tips. Today I'm going to get you acquainted with our spreadsheet, and if you haven't used spreadsheets very much, hopefully I can show you just how easy ours is to use and get you ready for your cooking day. So first we're going to open up our file. We're going to use our open office file, the spreadsheet, the freezer cooking planning tool. And this is what it'll look like when you open it. And you'll see on the bottom left all the different tabs or sheets in our spreadsheet. For this first tutorial, I'm going to just go over the recipes and ingredient information. And this is where you'll find all the recipes that we've put in and are ready for you, or where you will add your favorite recipes or recipe you want to try. And it's also where you will customize your store. So you will see here, we have our ingredients on the left, categorized by grocery shopping aisle. And we have a key for all the different types of recipes, like your chicken marinades, chicken, meatless, and ground beef. And you are free to add your own recipes in any of these slots up here on the top. And anywhere it's green, you can also add the amounts of your ingredients or change your store. So if you want to add your own recipe, let's say a fajita marinade, you'll just add it in there and go ahead and add your ingredients, whatever you would need. If you find that we don't have an ingredient listed that you need, Go ahead and add your ingredient here. Be sure to add the store you want to buy that in so that it shows up on your shopping list later. Um, another nice thing is this helpful information column. Sometimes it's nice to have this when you're some information when you're shopping to make it easier to decide what package you want to buy. So go ahead and look through your recipes and see which ones you want to try and add them to this sheet and we, you are ready to go and come back for the next tutorial.